G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Coast Food Forest. I wanted to do a, a quick video on my mango. Um, so the mangoes are pretty close now to harvesting, but as you can see, overnight we've had one, two, three, four mangoes um, taken off and half eaten. Maybe even maybe even this one here. Here's another one here that's just uh, yeah, it's just been pecked at. There's a nice big one too, that one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to harvest all the mango. Some are going to be a little bit green, but I'll let them ripen inside. Even here, look. Here's another one here. Completely destroyed by, I don't know, bats, possums, who knows? I'd say bats more than likely. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harvest, I think I'm going to harvest all of them, even these smaller greener ones, and just let them sit inside. They should ripen up. I know you can pick mangoes pretty green and let them ripen on the counter for, you know, two or three weeks, maybe even a bit more. You have to excuse, there's a lot of wind today. We still have a, uh, and it's supposed to rain and thunderstorms today. Extremely humid today, and um, we still have a, I believe, a tropical cyclone or a tropical storm off the coast. Um, it's been hanging around for a while now, and this is probably the first first day we've had, you know, stronger winds. But should be all right. Storms t tend to miss us in Harvey Bay. We were supposed to have a full week of rain. And we got probably a maximum of four or five hours in that whole week. All right, so you can see some of these mangoes are quite quite high, but I've got a special little tool for that. That's this here. I actually purchased this when I was back in Melbourne to uh, harvest my mango. Uh, sorry, harvest my uh, avocados. Um, all I did was buy buy this. I already had this this big pole which obviously extends to almost twice that. I don't think I'm gonna to need to extend it today, but I thought it would be a nifty little tool um, when I was back in Melbourne to harvest all my avocado, which obviously I'm not there anymore. We're in Queensland now, but if you wanna see those videos of my avocados, I've got a playlist on my YouTube channel you can go to, and it will show you tips and do's and don'ts on how to grow avocado in Melbourne. All right, so what I, quite simple, you, can, you sort of get the drift here, it's got a piece of foam in there. And you literally use these claws at the front here to sort of take the fruit off. Mind you, this is the first time I've used it. We just put the fruit in here. And then pull it. I've lost one, but should be all right, but there you go, there's your mango. We'll take this out. One. I'll grab this one. Two. I might go around and pick off all the, all these low ones first. There's a couple here. Looks as though that's had a bit of damage. Another one here's got, oh yeah, that's got, that's got all bugs in it that can go compost under the tree there. This one might be all right, it's healed over. <coughs> another, another, excuse me, another nice big one here. Hopefully this is all, this is very green. I'm hoping these are gonna ripen up. I just don't wanna lose all these, all these. Oh, spat all that juice out at me. I don't want to lose everything to animals. I know I can bag them all, but I just haven't got around to, I just haven't got around to purchasing any of the bags. Oh, it smells delicious, all that juice that's coming out. So we'll get in the middle here and have a look at some of these smaller ones. Literally spits. Ready? 
Gotta let it do that one. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll come back and show you. I'll show you the uh, mangoes. There we go guys, I've harvested all the mangoes ranging from very small to nice nice large ones especially that one, that's a beauty that one so I'll probably sit these on the counter let these ripen over a couple of weeks I've got about 50 here and that picking pole was absolutely amazing absolutely amazing of course I am planning to prune this down so I only need to pick by hand but I'll keep that just in case and now actually now I've harvested all my mangoes now in the next couple of weeks I can now prune this down to the size I want and then I can tip all the branches the mangoes have come off you see see here the mangoes come off here so I'll prune if you follow up the stem that's where the mango was if you follow up here you can see the next set of leaves there so I'll prune just below the leaves or I should say just above the leaves so just about here I'll go to another branch this this one here I'll prune just below that lump and that's where I'll get a heap of growth I could do it to this one as well that one looks like it might be dead but I'll try and get a really good example here's a really low here's a really low branch here so this is where the fruit was and then I come up to this this little lump here and I can prune actually I don't need to it fell off but I'll get three or four new branches coming out of there you can prune there as well see that's another growth spurt from there to that one prune just there prune just here some of these branches you'll already see you'll already see some here we go here's a good example you can see here where the I pruned it last week I think you can see these little one two three and then one right back there four so I'm gonna get four four new branches coming out of this one here's another one down here and you can see there's a little green lump coming out of there and coming out of the bottom of that leaf and that leaf might be a bit hard to see on camera but you're getting the drift so that's what I'll be doing I've pruned here I'll get three or four or well, two to five branches I'm guessing you'll see some of it you'll see I can find a branch that's already got multiple branches coming out of it which I can't I can't find any could take me forever so I won't worry about it but you get me drift so I'll be tipping them all there'll be a branch out of there branch out of here so there we go there's my first ever mango harvest in Queensland and this picking stick or picking basket I just purchased from eBay comes with a little bit of foam to for a soft landing alright just thought I'd share that with you don't forget to like subscribe and share give us a big thumbs up and um, I'll see you in the next video take care everyone